Hey folks, this is Saul with another War Within Alpha video, and today we're going to cover, or at least this time we're going to cover the Warband Bank, and you know, hopefully we'll answer all of the questions and concerns that you might have. Of course, if you don't mind, like the video, subscribe for more uh, PTR coverage, I'm sorry, alpha coverage and so on and so forth. Uh, let's get right into it. So this right here, you can look at the mouse cursor, this is the Warband Bank. There are one, two, three, four, five tabs. To this bank so uh, across your account uh, you and all of your characters will be able to share uh, about 490 uh, slots it's basically you know functionally it's basically just having a guild bank but it's by yourself and you know the functionality of it is very self-explanatory stuff goes in stuff goes out go ahead and move things uh, however you like and and that's pretty much it you know that's that but of course there's a little bit more to it first off how do I get these five tabs uh when you first unlock it it's just like buying it's just like unlocking any of these slots like if you just want you just need to pay for it there's no achievement required behind it there's nothing locked behind it you just need to throw down a good bit of gold so the first tab to be honest i totally forgot how much it cost i think it was less than five thousand gold it was not very much at all i think it was four thousand and you'll understand why in just a moment uh the second tab that cost 20,000 gold, so five times the amount of the former amount. Uh, the third tab, if we uh, follow the pattern, uh, this this goes up to, uh, what is a 100,000 gold. Yeah, 100,000 for the third tab. The fourth tab cost 500,000, and the final tab will cost 2.5 million gold to unlock. So yeah, you're looking at uh, a little bit over three million or so gold if you want to unlock every tab here. Now again, this is not, this is you know almost 500 slots of whatever you want to put in here, shared across your account. Um, yeah, take that amount as you will. Have fun with commenting on that. Uh, now, as for the functionality of this thing, uh, some of these things I'm not quite sure if they work properly, but you know, this is me just kind of exploring stuff. You can see that I have like just some basic materials here. It looks like what you can put in here includes pretty much anything that is not already bound to your character, or if it's war bound, which I have no items that are war bound at the moment. So this button right here might not function correctly because I'm hitting this deposit all warband items and nothing's going in there. Even these things that are otherwise not even um, like bound to anything certain. And that includes this include reagents uh, button here. So there might be certain reagents that are non-tradable as in you don't put them on the auction house, but there are there may be warbound reagents. I just have not seen those yet. Now, just like any other bank tab, you can customize these things. Uh, and just like bank slots, you can customize these a little bit more. So that way, when you're, you know, when you're dumping a whole bunch of stuff in here, you can you can kind of organize things. So there are you, you can, of course, rename it. You can filter these a little bit. Um, and you are also able to assign uh, filters to these tabs. So if you want to just make this thing for just reagents or just something else, or if you want to just make it for it so it's just equipment, if you're simply right clicking to deposit things into this bank, it's going to go straight into the tab of your choice. Just make sure that when you set whatever your settings are uh, and hello or hi, just make sure that you hit OK before moving on to the next tab because it's going to be pretty easy for you to uh, accidentally swap from one thing to another and then it won't look right and so on and so forth. And then of course you can you know swap out icons, you can customize these like a little bit more. As I said, you can rename them, just hit OK, and these settings will change. And like I said, it's pretty easy, self-explanatory stuff. Uh, just go ahead and right click. Now one thing that, that you might notice, like I might be on this tab here, but I've been right clicking and it will go into uh, it'll go into the tab that you filter it for first instead of so it's not like a guild bank where you go into a certain tab and then you start right clicking things so if, again if i go into like this uh, tab here i put in some unbound stuff it's going to go into you know it's going to go into folders in order starting from the top and working its way down depending on the filter that you use personally as a little bit of feedback i, I do prefer that they uh, go the route of hey i want to be able to just kind of uh, right click and just deposit things straight into uh, straight into the tab that I want to unless of course the filter is in play then go ahead and not do that put it somewhere else but I don't know that's just kind of my personal thing at least 
Now, the only thing that I did not get working was being able to craft or otherwise do things from the account-wide bank. So you can see here, uh, I'm an alchemist, um, and I wanted to try and, uh, I guess, grind up some herbs. Uh, but unfortunately, while the client does show the account that is in my bank, I can't access it, I can't use it, and I can't really do these experiments. Now, uh, this sounds like a bug. I'm just not sure what kind of bug. Is it because like this particular action doesn't quite work? Is the whole account bank thing, is that is that bugged? At the moment, it's not working, although that was an announced thing. Uh, so we're just gonna, at least for now, hold off and be like, okay, well, at the moment it's not working. Maybe it will work sometime soon. Uh, and for now, that is uh, just about all there is to uh, talk about with the account shared bank, except for like one other thing. I'll just go ahead and fly over and show you folks really quick. Uh, aside from sharing items, you can also uh, share gold and to a certain extent. So you'll be able to, uh, let me go over to the Warband Bank, let me deposit, uh, you know, this much gold and, you know, ta-da, there we go. So now you have this shared you know, this shared amount of gold that is now accessible from all your characters. So you don't really have to like mail yourself gold or, or anything like that anymore. And that just about takes care of that. So if you have any other questions or if there's something I missed, let me know in a comment below uh, and I'll do my best to address it, answer any questions or what have you. Again, like the video, subscribe for more coverage, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.